Welcome to a short tutorial on how to do a scatter plot in LibreOffice spreadsheets. Um, if you're watching this for our class, you're going to be asked to do this on your quiz, um, and we're going to be creating supply and demand graphs. Um, so the first thing you need, of course, is some data in your spreadsheet. Um, if you're in my class, you can go to our Moodle page, and you can click on the quiz review, and that will download a um, spreadsheet for you. Um, once it's downloaded, it will probably show up in your downloads folder. Novel idea. And then you can open that with uh, LibreOffice. Then, the first thing we got to do is actually find out what our demand is for each of these things. It doesn't, I don't have a title for what it is, but uh, we've got different prices, 25 cents up to $1.50 for both demand and supply. And so, the first thing we got to do is calculate how many would demand it at 25 cents. So, equals count if, that's the function to count how many uh, yeses we have, and our range is all these cells, B2 to B28, and then the next thing we need, you'll notice, is a comma, and then our criteria, we're searching for yes, and we Notice we put that into quotation marks. And we close our parentheses, and there are 24 yeses. And uh, I can click the bottom right corner there, drag it over, it'll copy that formula. In fact, I can go all the way over and do the same for my uh, supply side. I'm going to delete the one that's in the middle there because that's irrelevant. And then I'm also going to, because it'll make it a little easier, I'm going to copy and paste that row in there. Um, that just makes it a little easier when I want to select my data. So the first thing I'm going to do is my demand curve. I'm going to select uh, my data. I'm going to insert a chart. And I'm going to do a scatter plot. I'm going to, I don't know if you want to do smooth lines or not, but we want to connect the points and lines. Um, the next thing we need is we want the our data is actually in rows so we'll check that and we can kind of see what's happening. Looks like we got a nice demand curve. Um, the next thing we want we should give it a range name so we will call it this is our demand and next we will do our title uh, I'll just call it demand or maybe it's donuts. We'll just call it donuts. We'll pretend it's demand curve for donuts. Our x-axis is always, always our quantity. So we'll give it a name. And our y-axis is always price. So we put it in there. Um, the other reason we brought the, we copied the supply and demand prices down here is that by default, whatever's on top will be on considered on the x-axis and whatever's on bottom will be considered on the y-axis and so we don't actually have to go back to our data series and edit that it will automatically put x values as what was on top and y values as what's below that so once we've done that we can click finish and we'll have our demand curve and that looks like a finished demand curve now you can repeat the process and create a supply curve so you know highlight your data and go through those steps or um, if we want to put them on both on one curve, and this would be kind of your extra credit on our quiz, we can right click and we can go to data ranges and our data series, we can actually add another data series. Now, there was actually an opportunity to do this while we were going through the steps initially, but um, maybe it's easier to come back to it and it, it looks the same as this. So what we're going to do is click Add. This time we're going to do our supply curve. Our x values for our supply curve are the quantities. And so we can click this here a second and we can select the range. So we'll select our quantities. And our y values are, again I'm going to click on this uh, to select the data range. These are our Y values, the prices. And that's it. 
Now we've got demand and supply on the same graph. So again, for the quiz, you can do two separate graphs if you so desire, or you can put two curves on the same graph. Um, thanks for watching. I hope that helps, and I'll see you at your test.